Hey guys and welcome to another video of Pongo Productions. Um, this week's going to be a bit different. I mean, it's going to be quite a bit different. Um, we're going to be doing a kind of a photography challenge. Some of you might know Blix is already a very, kind of say, I'd say, I'd say a well-known photographer in the whole, you know, realm of Instagram. <laughs> yeah, if you guys haven't checked out his work, obviously do check out his work. If, uh, if, oh wait. You know, Oh yeah? shit. <laughs> what? Nah, basically. <laughs> I didn't know you were talking about me because I've got the volume low on FaceTime. <laughs> so I'm like, you're just repping your yeah, Check out his yeah, work. Yeah, go. <laughs> Link down below. Follow me. Yeah. Do check out his work. It's 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 pretty cool to some extent. If you don't follow him, follow him, you know. Uh just like, if you don't follow us, what are you doing on this channel? <laughs> First go do that. Why? <laughs> Why? Yeah. What, are you, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> So without further ado, we, uh, if you haven't checked out the video from last week, we are going to put it somewhere in, like somewhere across, somewhere, yeah. okay. Yeah. So let's start this, uh, let's start this vlog, let's start this video. So what we did first of all is we wrote a couple of household items. This includes food items to general items like cheese platters and whatnot. We cut it up into pieces like you do for a draw and yeah we've put some rules into place as well which i'm going to explain to you in a bit but yeah all of it is in here right 20 pieces of paper folded up ready to go okay the rules for this uh kind of challenge is basically we're going to shoot with a basic dslr camera so both of our um lenses are going to be the same it's the kit lens uh, that comes with the camera and uh, another thing we said we're not going to be using any professional uh, lights or equipment not like i have any <laughs> exactly it's, it's more it's more like on his side uh, just to but make you are it... more more than welcome to use like uh if you have like garden lights or fairy lights or whatever you any other lights are not like photography specific lights if that makes sense just any anything that you have lying around in your household you know just to make this challenge a bit more interesting just to see what we can do with the same kind of type of equipment, you know? Um, and another key thing, we wanted to not edit these pictures. We don't want any editing. We want to see what we can get straight out of the camera, uh, just to see, you know, what we can get straight out of the camera. <laughs> There's nothing much to say there. I guess we can start this draw, can we? Uh, Shall we yeah. Why not? do Let's this? Do okay, I'm just gonna, just to make this a fair kind of draw. Okay, can we, can we do the FIFA rule? What's the FIFA rule? The FIFA rule with the random rule. So like, imagine we get something, yeah? Yeah. Uh, imagine we get something and we don't like it. We're allowed to go to the next one, but we can't go back to it. But so like, both of us don't like it? Yeah. I don't know. I think we're allowed that once. Shall we? Okay, we'll, we'll do that. Uh, we'll give that twice, actually. Twice. Because okay, we have right. two, 20, I yeah. mean, we have 20, you know, household items. You know, there could be yeah. a couple that we don't like. So yeah, I'll pick the first one, ready? Go on, I'm ready, I'm ready. Uh, just tell me to stop and I'll stop and pick. Uh, stop. <laughs> so I'll pick like three, but <laughs> there's one. Let's see what it is. Ooh! Dumbbells. Oh, okay. Dumbbells. Yeah, just this. Oh. <laughs> what do you think about these? I don't dumbbells, mind it. Dumbbells, dumbbells. We can dumbbells. make it work. Yeah, we can make yep. it work. Make it we can work. make it work. We'll, we can make it work. We'll keep that. Yeah, I'll say dumbbells. Okay, yeah. yeah. Dumbbells it is then. <laughs> Doesn't seem too happy, but we're going to go ahead with it anyway. I mean, <laughs> it's what it is, um, isn't it? Cool. Right, so we are going to be taking pictures pretty much. I think, I mean, we're going to say the whole day, but we're going to come back in the evening, kind of just collate everything together and put the pictures and compare them, show them to you and see uh, what the differences are, see how interesting it can get. So until then, we will sign off. <laughs> okay, see you later. Safe. So, I've taken care of my business. Is he done? Uh, I have two types of dumbbells as this. There's this one where you like low, it's not like the tip, yeah, it's all tip, but you lower like the belt dumbbells onto it, and then there's another one where it's like the fixed ones, uh, like the typical ones that you can get from like Argo or something. You have, you have the blue, pink, and purple one. Everyone's seen some, some variation of them. I am going to do some research beforehand. I think research is definitely going to be key here. 
whatever happens happens first place i'm gonna go first is pinterest pinterest is amazing especially for photography like there's a lot of shoots where i plan shoots even if i don't do them i just go on pinterest and i'll be like you know what i want to do this so then i'll create a folder of like different pictures i get and it can be a lot of inspiration first we're going to type in the simple stuff dumbbell photography yeah dumbbell photography bam slight change of plan using this one thought about a bit using this one it's a lot more interesting I get a, a little bit more sort of out of it, I guess. Build like a sort of environment around this, you know, like that rusty sort of builder's look, maybe. I think we'll see. But I like this, I think we're gonna go with this. Lighting wise, I'm not sure. Everything else wise, I'm not sure. But we will make it work. <sighs> Where do I take it? Where? How? What I do with it? So let's just say we're gonna make it look rusty, metallic, dramatic. Do you know what I mean like that ooh, kind of thing? So I don't want to just take a picture. I want to get creative. Yeah, I want to use different components. Yeah, I want to like show f like a a massage. Do you know what I mean? I want to like do something that isn't possible, but it's gonna be hard. Uh, Um, cool. Right, I, I just finished eating. With this whole challenge, uh, I've actually done a similar challenge before with a friend. You know, we were bored. We just decided to take pictures of household items and just compare. So I thought it would be really cool to do that with uh, Blix. You know, he's a photographer, so, you know, just to see the result, share it with you guys. That's what this video is about. Right, um, dumbbells. Um, yeah. <laughs> Right, I'm going to show you guys what dumbbells I do have actually. Something that looks like this. 10 kg each, so I've got another one of these. I have to try and make it interesting, I have to try and make it different. So I, I mean, I already have kind of an idea of what I want to do because I have two of them. Maybe just have one fully open, have the plates kind of stacked up and um, how else? Yeah, and just have the other one just in its usual form. Yeah, and then start taking pictures. Let me breathe. Freaking hell, man. I need to breathe. So, I thought a good thing to do would be to kind of find inspiration. Because obviously, I'm, I'm up against someone who's is really good at shooting photos. So obviously, I'm, a, I'm up against something big. So I have, to, I have to play big. Cool. I think the first point of interest is Pinterest. <laughs> because Pinterest is kind of like... A platform where you can kind of really get inspired by anything, you know, it doesn't have to be photography, you can cakes, you know, and all sorts of things. Open up Pinterest and here we go. Search for dumbbells. So dumbbells, what do we have here? We have dumbbells. What we expected. <laughs> okay, it's just a set of workouts, just random you know, this this is really not gonna help me out, is it? Okay, fine, I'm just gonna put dumbbell, like, photography, oh, nice, dumbbell photography. Okay, let's see, again, <laughs> just, a, just a set of random, oh, I mean, this is nice, but I don't really have a set, so I'm, it's not gonna work. Um, okay, uh, I'm not really finding anything that's kind of, ooh, that looks nice. Kind of screenshot this, so we have it future reference um, I like the whole powder idea looks cool it really looks like I have to make use out of the background you know the background the settings you know the kind of things that would help bring up the dumbbells like like I don't know the kind of um, I don't know for example powder the roughness along the lines of just working out you know water bottles and Maybe even protein shake. I don't know. Something. I want to put everything that I can in there and experiment. So I want to see what I can find. But I'm really trying to think here. I don't. I do want. I do want this one to be good because I need to beat him. I need to beat him. <laughs> okay. I 
sweet silverware. Ooh. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, yes. Uh, the infamous cheese grater. Okay, I want my shed. Oh! Found something else. This is part of my American football mask. So, yeah, that's how big it was. I'm looking for metal stuff. I might even shoot in here, you know. This is a sick place to shoot because it's so messy and so uh, blah. But it's too messy. So, I like this rock sort of. Um, like it's not rock, concrete. I know stone. Yeah, what, what is this called? What is it called, man? I really do like this. I think we could actually do it here. You know, this might be a six spot. But I'll try and you know, sort some stuff out. I have the stuff inside, so I'll go back and get that in a bit. Um, but for now, we just like I'll plop you in a corner. You lot, you lot stay in a corner somewhere. I'll clean out a space. Go and get my tripod as well. Uh, no, yeah, I'll clean out the space first. One step at a time. Then I'll clean out the tripod. Then I'll put my tripod. Um, and yeah. I also need my headphones because like, this is going to take a while. And I, I don't want to like just listen to some music and just clean. Oh. Oh, yes, mate. I have some. Oh, can let me show you. So I have some alloys. There. You can see that. Alloys there. I have an exhaust pipe there. Some nuts and bolts I can use. Little wires, cables. Like my dad was an engineer, so like luckily I have all this stuff here. Like even like the pots and pans, I love that. But that's my sister's stuff. I can't touch that. My mom bought that for my sister. I can't touch that. Otherwise, I'll get in trouble. So I'm gonna have to use the stuff inside the house. It's okay. Let me clean this spot. We're gonna get my headphones first, and then we'll, we'll do the rest. Be blinds now, and then he said, Let there be light. Okay, so it's monstrous, it's monstrous. My headphones. Oh, I'm actually excited to see what he has. Like, I don't know what he's gonna produce, I'm not quite sure what to expect. Do you know what I mean? Let's go. Okay, done cleaning. I've created a section, a lane from here to there. So, hopefully, I'm going to be shooting in this sort of section. Found this old rabbit cage. I might put the dumbbell in here. I need a lot of things, but it's okay. We'll set this up. I'm going to lay this down here. And whatever happens, happens. Welcome back. Uh, done with the um, shooting. Uh, I think it went well. I would say it went well. Right, so I thought it'd be better to kind of just get everything done and then kind of do a little talk over to explain to you guys what I did and uh, yeah. Right, so just to explain to you guys what I already knew about photography or taking pictures is three things. Um, three important things uh, that any beginner should really know if they want to take pictures that are good. Aperture, ISO and shutter speed. I don't know exactly, you know, in what order I should have said that, but I said in that order because it just came out in that order. Um, three are equally important. Aperture and shutter speed is something that is more important in terms of changing and playing about with. Well, ISO is, um, I don't know, I'd say I'll call it a function uh, that helps you brighten up your images whilst taking pictures. So let's say you're shooting in a dark room or you're shooting outside whilst it's nighttime or dark. If you pump up your ISO, what it does is it just brightens up the picture. It gives you like that extra light that you're missing in reality whilst taking the picture. But whilst you do that, you do cut back on some quality of the picture. The, the picture becomes a bit grainy. It's just not gonna be as clear as you know it could be when you, know, you have natural light or real light uh, pointed towards that particular thing. 
that you're trying to take a picture of. What I did is I tried to keep the ISO as low as I could and use natural light or use extra light to just enhance the pictures, make it brighter and just play it about with the shutter speed and aperture. Right, now, without further ado, let's get into the first setup that I tried. This is just a very simple setup. This is what I used. I thought it really had like a cool kind of texture. So I thought, why not use it? Why not use it? The light I used was a simple lamp from Ikea. It was it was the light that I used for the first few pictures that I took. Um, it, it gave a very kind of warm feel to it, which I wasn't a huge fan of. So I just, I just thought, um, let me turn off that light and use that light as a stand for my phone instead. Uh, so I could just use the flash on my old phone. It gave it a more like a cooler effect, uh, which kind of went with the whole effect I was going for. Another effect that I was trying to go for is the use of powder. I, I just experimented with this. I tried to chuck powder onto the, um, you know, onto the weights, put the powder on my hand and literally blew it onto the weights to get this kind of like smoky slash powder. You know, which literally gave me the effect that I was exactly going for. Uh, and for that, I used nothing but simple panatum powder. You know, I think that's how you say it. It's it's a German powder, so anyone who's German and Tamil probably has this in their household or might have had it in their household. Yeah, that was it. That was a simple setup that I was going for. Clicked a few pictures. When I say a few, I took tons of pictures just because I was experimenting uh, with it a lot. Um, yeah, and that was that. Whew! That's the first part done. I think I had a change of plan. Um, let me turn this off, this is so bright. Ugh. Yeah, I might, um, change idea. I think. Um, I like this up. I think it's calm, I might keep it. I'm, I'm probably not sure. I like this. This caught my eye for some reason because I want it to be when I imagined I wanted it to be something that stands on itself um, and I felt like this it has it but it's just not there just yet do you know what I mean so but then I saw these which I really like uh, it is oh, it's just a couple alloys uh, in like wheels and then there's an alloy on top um, car alloys like do you know what I mean like normal thing and whatever and I, I like I took a picture of it um, and I liked what I saw with the idea of it so I'm just gonna play around even more uh, I might put away this cage um, and just use that only and I know I've taken out all this stuff and I know you know I've got all this equipment around me but I think I might just use that So this is a setup. Uh, I'm not capturing everything. Uh, I'm just trying to get like this section right here. So I've got the wheel there. There's a light just shining behind, so it just sort of brings out. And I've got this other lamp, which I've just got sitting here like this, just lighting this bit. This is the final setup. This is, I think, this is definitely it. So yeah, look, you've got the light there. Dumbbells there. There's a light behind. Uh, it is a bit too bright. Uh, Reduce it. So I just put a tissue on top. Uh, hopefully it doesn't burn. If it does, I'm fucked. This is the last setup. I'm not really sure where I'm going with it, but we'll see. Right now, the second setup that I did, um, it was. It was kind of inspired by a picture that I saw on Pinterest. It 
it's referred to as flat lay photography and what it is basically is just a top view of the products that you're trying to take pictures of so I thought that might be an interesting kind of way to take pictures of this Dumbo so you know I just thought might as well go for that as well my front entrance has this kind of cool tiles effect um, so I thought you know might as well use that and uh, just use a bunch of different things like uh, something that relates to dumbbells working out and whatnot so water bottles um, phone headphones a cap I did try shoes as well but it just it the, the shoe just made it look you know I just couldn't make it work I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a way of kind of making it work but it just looked too bulky it just overtook the picture so I just thought you know what um, the focus needs to be on the dumbbell so I took the shoes out and yeah this is the kind of effect that I got um, from that setup. And yeah, was really happy with that. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to see what the pictures look like once I put them up on my computer and look through them, whisk through them and try and find a couple of pictures and you know save them to show to Blix and you guys um, can't wait um, yeah let's see so I'm done shooting he should be done by now as well because I just messaged him and he should be done as well uh, but yeah it's good it's good yeah Good. See, am I doing it or you're doing it? I saw you said you were gonna do it. Now, okay, it's me. Okay, okay, yo, okay. So we've done the, the shooting. Uh, we've put it onto our laptops. We sent it to each other. So now we've both downloaded each other's pictures, and we're gonna react to them. Tani, have you got your pictures ready? You mean your pictures ready? Okay, you my pictures. Yeah, my pictures. <laughs> yeah, I do have them ready there. Okay, Blicky choose pics. Let's go. I, Ooh, I see some tires in the background. Ooh, you know what? You know what vibe this gives me? What? There's a whole trans transporter vibe. The Jason Statham vibe. Yeah, you know, yeah, that yeah. Movie, like, where you see that guy, he's about to fight. He just did <laughs> ten, 10 curls. He's like, uh, 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 let's go. <laughs> There's a lot I want to do. So first, I want to do so with the smaller weights. Maybe do something black power. It's like you know how you have the black power fist like this, but I don't want to like. Make it seem like I was doing it for a gimmick. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, then I had the colorful dumbbells. I didn't use that either because I was like, I was gonna make do like a lifestyle one. So maybe do like me doing some sort of like yoga or something. I don't know. Yeah. Or like, for colorful like a mask. Yeah. So like it could be like a lifestyle. That could so like, The weights, the salad. You should have worn the uh, whole headband and and the <laughs> mask, like the mask, because of like Corona as well. Yeah. I was gonna do that, but then I wasn't really feeling it. But this one, I just I went to the shed. Took a random bunch of stuff like silver cups, silver like everything. Uh, found the tie in the back. I had like three setups, and then this is what I ended up with. And then the reflection. So the third picture, there's like a reflection, and I just I can see. Yeah, I just saw that. What did you use to get the reflection? Uh, I put my phone like here underneath the camera. Oh, that and one. And then yeah, when you zoom use in, use the cheeky phone reflection effect. Yeah. Let's go to yours. I'm gonna see yours now. Ready? Okay. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> you want to go set up one or set up two first. I'll let you choose. I think, okay, I want to go, because setup one was the one that I actually had the idea down first. That's like, when I thought of dumbbells, I was like, listen, this is what I'm going to do. This, oh, I like this, I like this. This is actually, let me talk you through it. So the, the first okay. idea that was actually, I already, I already explained it to these guys, but yeah. it was the whole like powdery kind of raw, kind of heavy metal, even though it's 10 kg, <laughs> lift it. You probably won't need powder for it. But um, yeah, I just, I just thought, go for that effect. Like, the thing is, I actually took a picture of like like squeezing powder falling onto the um, uh, weights, but it made it look like snow. So I was like, listen, it already looks like a pancake, so I don't, I don't need snow on it. So I was like, let, let me cut that out. You know, just I like that it. though. I like I like, how, like I like the the powder and then I like the dumbbell, like the plate, the and in the background you've got the dumbbell as well. I feel like this can go behind like uh, you the know the YouTube stickers. motivation videos. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's so how you get up. Good. 
But uh, keep going. Or something like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can put like I don't know Morgan Freeman's voice behind this, and, and it'll bang. <laughs> so let me do set up two. Okay, set up two. Oh yeah, set up set up two is. Oh okay, okay. It's a switch. So, up. It's a switch up. Yeah, this is the whole flat lay photography. I was actually gonna do this idea. No way. And I was like, nah. I know. I was I thinking because like, I was like, I wanted two different things. Obviously, I wanted the close up, so yeah. to make it feel like you know you're in the picture, and then I thought, why not go for like a. Like, uh, cause I I was looking through pictures like for inspiration, and I I saw a couple yeah. of pictures that had like just random bits, you know, like random yeah, bits yeah, and pieces. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's I think that's my that's my favorite one. Like, yeah, can you see the reflection underneath the dumbbell? The reflection. I mean, not the reflection, but the, the light underneath the dumbbell. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I basically used the knife to reflect light light to go underneath the dumbbell, so I can just focus Where's on. Where's the, the knife? I I did, like if you see in the corner, corner of the picture, I kind of. Right corner, oh, right bottom corner. Yeah. You can see yeah, it, yeah. but I I didn't know you could see it. That was unintentional, a noob uh, mistake. Shouldn't have done it, but you don't really no, focus I just, on it. I, I like it, I like it. I think this is quite interesting, man. Yeah, it's fun. This one, I'm not gonna lie, this one I, I hate it. I, I he he really didn't want the dumbbells, that's I the thing. I didn't want dumbbells, because, <laughs> like, you know what it is? Because I don't have the dumbbells you have. Yeah, exactly. You've I, seen feel like, the I feel like I had more leeway <laughs> that I can just take them off and do whatever, whatnot. So next time we'll do something else. See how it goes. Mm. You know, let us know in the comments down below if 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 you did like the series, so we could. I mean, well, this episode, so we can kind of make a series. Another out one. Of it. I I, I want to do this again. I feel like we yeah, because I feel like he uh, he wants to he wants to shatter me <laughs> in the next one. I need to. I need. Like, <laughs> I, it's not even about shattering you. I need to prove <laughs> you myself. Need to. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I don't think I've proved myself. Do you know no, I, mean? I feel like I, I feel like you can do better than that. Not gonna lie, I feel like you can, yeah. you can do much better than that. But I feel I like the, like the I whole... saw yours and I went, that's nice. But I'm not happy with mine anymore. Fuck mine. Mine's dead. Alright, uh, listen. Uh, you guys can't hear Tani anymore. But um, he basically said, "Ah, oh, look, he's over here. Look, you can talk to him here." One sec. You, let me put you louder. Basically, he said, um, like, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see us do more videos, then hit the subscribe button, uh, hit the like button, comment down below. What do you think? Who, who's uh, picture? You, uh, you haven't seen the pictures. If you do want to see the pictures, sorry, this is this is going all over the place. I'm just a bit excited. Do you know what I mean? I'm just a bit excited. Yeah. Listen. Um, yeah, we're not gonna. If you want to see the pictures that we took, it's gonna be on our Instagram. So. Follow us on Instagram, it's at Pungo Productions. It will be there. You can comment down below on that Instagram uh, picture or even com comment down below once you've checked it out here um, and tell us which one you preferred, you know, what other items that we could add to the list because, you know, we've got a, a hat of items and we're just going to add like different, different household items and every week, you know, we might pick one out every, I don't know, once in a while we'll do one. Yeah, man, listen, we've got ideas in there, man. We've got more coming, baby. Yeah. So, yeah, man. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was fun, challenging, but it was fun. And uh, we will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Bow. <laughs>